So for this hairstyle, I am doing this on wet hair and I am doing the LOC method. So this is a follow up from my last video, which is the steam treatment. So I'll leave it above so you guys can check it out. So what you want to do with the hair is you want to coil the ends um, every time you do the twist. So I'm just showing you how to twist and coil the ends. And I just divide the hair into large twists. Um, the twists don't have to be neat. The parts don't have to be neat. I'm using my Taylor Beauty Everything Butter to get the moisture into the twist. So once I've done the bottom half of her hair and I've twisted it up, I'm now beginning on working on the pattern on the top of her hair. The pattern consists of parting her hair into small squares and I use rubber bands. I do have a safe way to remove rubber bands. I don't ever have any damage with rubber bands and I use rubber bands for most of her protective hairstyles. So now I'm just going in and I'm creating another square twist in her hair. Now these you do want to be neat with this part of her twist because those twists are going to stay in the hair. The larger ones that we did before, we're actually going to take them out later. So as you can see, I don't twist all the way to the ends because what I'm going to do is I'm going to crisscross them. So when you do the parts of the top half, you do want to make sure that they are the, the parts actually come together neatly. Uh, so you want to make sure that they're all symmetrical. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one twist and I'm bringing it over and I'm going to take my rubber band and put it into the twist. You want to make sure that no other hair catches into it. So you want to be a little bit careful with this part. Now I'm just going ahead and I'm dividing that in half and I'm going to twist it. I'm doing the same thing and I'm bringing it over, making sure that the parts look very neat and they're very symmetrical. And I'm raveling it with a rubber band. I don't do it very tight and I always ask her how does it feel if it's too tight. You don't want to make it tight because it will um, pull out your baby's edges as well as have little bumps. I've never experienced this because I don't do it tight at all so now i'm just bringing them together and i'm twisting them those are going to come out later so as you can see the back has really big twists um like i said that's going to come out later and i'm just showing you how to bring it over so now i'm following up with that same pattern of crisscrossing it over and i'm going to have three sections that are crisscrossed you can choose how to do it. You can choose if you want to have bigger sections or you want to have smaller sections. I like to do this because the parting, in my opinion, is perfect. So here's what it looks like once it's all completed. And what I'm going to do is let it air dry. I let this air dry overnight and her hair was um, her hair was a little towel dry, so it wasn't really damp. So now I'm just adding these gold jewelry that I got from the beauty supply store and I'm just carefully putting them in her hair um, what I've done is they have a small opening so I put them on underneath um, because to me the opening is a little if it's not placed correctly um, it can cause damage so just be careful how you add those so now we're getting ready for the next day and I'm adding a Taylor Beauty Grow Thick Oil I've added this because I want to reduce frizz and I also want to maintain the health of her hair so here I am carefully unraveling each twist trying not to cause frizz and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of just puffing it out a little with my fingers I'm just putting my fingers through it to give it some body I really like this protective hairstyle because even though she's wearing her hair out to me it's still a protective hairstyle I did not touch her hair for the whole week and the hairstyle remained intact for the whole week so you just want to take your time and remove these, remove them very gently. Um, like I said, this can be a weekly style or it can be a cute style for a special occasion. So at the front, I'm also um, following the same method and I'm just showing you how defined her hair is once I take the twist out. So 
So now what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and I'm just carefully puffing out her hair, adding more body to it. I don't use combs for this part. I usually use my fingers and I ask her for assistance to shake it out. So here it is very defined and here is the final look. I really enjoyed this hairstyle. And if you enjoyed this hairstyle as well, be sure to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Bye!